on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. And now we cut to Izuku staring down Shigaraki as right now Shigaraki is feeling a little cold. As then you look at his hand, it's starting to freeze over as I start to slowly creep up his arm straight up to his shoulder as Izuku shatters it in front of Sue and Mineta. Shigaraki has no choice but to yell for Kodagiri and get the fuck out of there. One thing is, Kodagiri can only really go upon the screams of Shigaraki. So, yeah, good luck with that. Meanwhile, this is about the time when All Might finally shows up. But he sees the mist everywhere. He's pretty much all hella confused. What happened? Son of Zeus is like a good villain attack. Izuku did this. As soon as the mist dissipates, he sees frozen villains, shattered villains. This is like pretty much Medusa showed up and started peeping at everybody. But. Nothing is uh, as surprising as Mineta and Sue's reaction. See, Mineta, he's pretty much, did you really just say that? Sue, she's looking down, blushing. She goes, wait, what do you mean? Oh, ho, 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 ho. my friend, you can't pretend you didn't say that. Huh? Wait, say what? You said my Sue. So, mm, sounds like you. Uh, I. No. Did I confess to Oswe? Yes, you did. Granted, it was the heat of the moment. You were, you, she was going to get hurt and whatnot, but still, you. You honest to God confessed. Sue's looking down, not even bothering to look at Izuku anymore. Just embarrasses all hell. Shigaraki is like, thank God, is going to get them out of there. I am so sorry as Sue just runs past him. But then, I guess you can take that as a no, shut up. I can't believe I actually did that. I... I didn't... I really didn't mean to. I just... <sighs> What's gonna happen now? The next day, Izuku pretty much trying to talk with Asui, but she's not having any of it. And I mean that. When it comes to the girls... Yeah, me know she's she's already like what what's wrong with you? I got raised. For some reason, she's looking at Izuku, but whenever he looks back, she turns her head. And I do know she's blushing a bit. Wait, Izuku so can blush? Them looking is like oh my gosh, she can. So what's the deal with you and Midoriya? But what? Come on, don't play dumb. What, what's going on between you two? Nothing. Nothing at all. Stop asking questions. Seriously, you're being annoying as hell. Uh huh. Okay, fine. We won't. We won't push the subject any further. But still. What happened? Did, did he do something stupid? Do we need to teach him a lesson or something? No, please don't hurt him. <laughs> Works every time. So, tell us what happened. 
He confessed to me during the... Well, he technically confessed was during the USJ attack. I was about to get hurt, and then he just... No. Yeah. What, so, wait, you're just avoiding him? Yes. Why? If you like him, tell, tell him, or else he's going to think there's something wrong, and then he might think you hate him or something. You can't just avoid him like this. You got to at least give him an answer. I, I ran away. Add with the whole thing about you avoiding him like the plague. Not even bothering to look at him when he looks at you. That's you send him mixed signals right now. He must think you hate him, or at least don't see him in that way, which makes him uh, feel like he's being rejected. Which, believe me, you have his. To guys more than girls, which one thing is guys can handle it some better from time to time. Still, if you don't tell him, better up so someone else does. So someone, you, you never know. What? Hmm. Leave it like this. You're gonna have to at least be open to how you feel. I mean, I get that can be scary. I mean, being confessed to can be very stressful. Especially when it's in the heat of the moment. Usually, it happens in private. But considering, oh yeah, man, I knows. What? He, he, him, him, that, that perverted, great, brute ass. No, pulling no holes ass. Little bitch. <clears throat> I'm sorry. He knows. Yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. You, you gotta fix that. What? what? You gonna have to tell him something now. Or else. Or else what? It's Manetta. What do you think he's gonna do when it comes to He's feeling like he got rejected. Man, no, he ain't even getting a whammon. He already knows that. We made that painfully clear and obvious. So how you, who do you think he's going to want to tear down after they confessed accidentally to someone they like? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Chances are, he may be telling Izuku a whole different story than what you want to tell him. I was just getting it over with, ripping out the band-aid. But this is about the time when, yes, yada yada yada, there could be a traitor, blah blah blah, sports festival still going on. Yeah, such and such time to get ready while we do this investigation. One thing is, Izuku, upon uh, the ringing of the bell, Sue can't really muster up the courage to go up to talk to him. Especially when he see he seems a little uh, distant, quiet. All the sweeties, like, oh my god, am I too late? Mina, there's only one way to find out. We gotta tell that bastard. <laughs> no. No, it should be me. What? You want to confront me and see if he said anything? Yes. Chances are, if he did, I am going to punish him. If he didn't, I'll make sure he doesn't. It is yes. Man, it's gone. When they ask what happened, they say that he left with Izuku. 
all the girls are running to try to catch up with them. But as soon as they see, it's Mineta and Izuku with several different women. What the hell? As yes, Mineta, he's technically introducing Izuku to some women as it seems. But Izuku is more or less quiet and being distant towards all of them. They don't know why, but as if, if anything, girls are liking it. Mineta is thinking, okay, maybe I should try that too. Him trying to be standoffish, but them just pay more attention to Izuku. Because by this time, it has been known what Izuku did. Yeah, sad but true. They, now they learn of his uh, abilities. This makes him seem more like a true hero. Though his methods are a little... Hmm. Dangerous. They are still very helpful, are they not? Next is pretty much when Izuku is uh, training. When a limousine pulls up. It's Endeavor. Uh, what, what, what are you doing here? That's my business. So you're the one that shattered that one villain's arm and killed all those villains. Why, why are you here? Again, two reasons. I've been charged with watching over you. What? You heard me. And I would like you to meet someone. Uh, huh? This is my daughter. For you, me. You two will be become very well acquainted. What? As yes, Endeavor holds a certificate proposing a quirk marriage. Only thing is, he's going for that shit. For Yumi, she doesn't like it, but right now, Endeavor is still an asshole Endeavor. So, go figure. Yeah. But I don't want to get married to For you. I don't even know her. That's the point. You're going to get to know her. I'm, I'll run by your guardian soon enough. In which, yes, that does not end well in Endeavor's favor. He and Foyumi get kicked the fuck out of the apartment building. I am not kidding. Inko kicked their asses out. She said she did not give a damn who he was, that he was a hero. Who she was, it doesn't matter who... Star you are, and my son doesn't want to marry her, and she doesn't want to marry him. There is no point. But then he has to remind her, like, yes, but I'm also charged with watching over your son. What's that gonna do anything? Which means, as long as it's nowhere private, private, say, the facilities. Wherever he goes, I go. And same goes for my daughter. Are you serious? Oh, very much so. And yes, as you can assume, it is very awkward for Izuku. To a very uncomfortable percentage. On one hand, uh, he can train with Endeavor. On the other hand, he still likes Asui. So, what's he gonna do? What can he do? These are all good questions. The only thing is, uh, he hasn't talked to Oswe at all. He feels like, oh my god, did I scare her off or something? Did, did I say something 
that could have upset her besides just saying that she was oh, that's what it could be oh this the fact that I just instantly claimed her hers her is mine it, that must have been very uncomfortable for her I should definitely apologize but she won't even look at me and this is about time when for you be comes into his room or are you alright? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. <sighs> Look, I... I'm sorry. What? What are you talking about? For my dad. Huh. Seriously, though. Why does he look like that? I... I don't know. It might have something to do with his inferiority complex. Really? He feels inferior? To who? <laughs> who else? He feels inferior to All Might. Hmm. Okay, yeah. I suppose that makes sense. But still. To try to marry off... His daughter in a court marriage. I mean, how old are you? <laughs> what? Were you slapping Izuku? So, oh. Why? Why did you do that? You never ask a woman her age. Okay, I guess you're older than me. Okay, that's rude. True. But you must uh, admit. It's pretty fucked up for your dad to do such things, is it not? Right, right. If anything, just... Try not to get too worried about what? Well, you're having trouble with someone, aren't you? What do you mean? Don't play dumb. It's about a girl, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Should have known. But if anything, I'm sure she doesn't hate you. Really? Are you sure? How, how sure are you? Pretty damn sure. But, at the very least, I, I have a favor to ask you. What is it? It's about Shoto. Hmm. Okay, what about him? Well, I want him to. How's the best way to say this? Use his fireside? Yes. Well, I can't redo really that, considering that, one, I haven't even, I don't even see him, not to mention the whole fact that he, hmm, hates fire users, and I am not one of them. I use water and ice and steam, and yeah, 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 either way. Think of it like this. He just wants uh, he wants to prove that he's better than our father. And our father wants him to be the one to the dethrone all might. Really. 
Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, your brother wants to be an unwanted hero, but only using his eyesight. Yeah. Okay, that's that's good to know. That's that's a interesting goal to have, if not very stupid. Uh, what? Yeah, that is highly stupid and dangerous. I mean, for one, you gotta really think about the whole fact that he's actually limiting himself. Like, uh, let me think. His ice quirk does have a downside towards it. He'll get frostbite if he uses it too much and risk losing something. He, yeah. Hmm. So, at the very least, I think he would use his fire side, technically, to heat himself up. Just won't use the fire itself. So, sounds like I just need to back him into the corner to the point where he has to use it. Yeah. So, are you suggesting back my little brother into a corner to the point where he has no choice but to use his fireside? That. That could be a lot more difficult than you really realized. You know that, huh? Yeah. You know what? Don't worry about how difficult it is. I'm pretty sure you're strong enough to take him on. I mean, you can control other forms of matter, can't you? At least liquid wise. Well, yeah. Does it have to be your water or whatnot? Or are you. Well, all forms of water are pretty much under my command. Especially if I'm well trained enough. I mean, during the entrance exam, I actually forced. <laughs> you won't believe this. I actually forced motor oil. Out of the zero pointer. Hmm. What was that? Just one of your regular robots. Either way, I thought it was awesome. Really? You did that? Yeah, it was. If anything, I didn't really know I could do it, but I figured, why not try? <sighs> That's very, uh,. Clever of you. Wait. But have you ever thought of controlling uh, blood? Blood. Huh. I. I guess it has possibly crossed my mind, but as far as using it, I. I don't see much reason for doing that. It seems a little creepy and dark and malicious. Hmm. But, if anything, try working on your regular skills. But, I say dabble in the whole blood manipulation thing because if you can th that should be at least a last resort type thing don't you think hmm yeah maybe oh wait I never learned about what your quirk was oh <clears throat> that's if anything, my quirk is just like my mother's. Really? Wait, now I think about where is your mother? How, how is she okay with this whole 
proposal for a quirk marriage. Ezekiel hearing about backstory. Endeavor sucks as a human being right now, still. So, Izuku is nobly pissed. Now, let's get to the sports festival. In which, yes, Izuku can easily be, beat everyone. What makes this even easier is Todoroki. <laughs> Considering that, yes, he's using a shit ton of ice. Which Izuku just turns into water and jets out. They're like he was on a jet ski, and first place is nobly his. When it comes to the whole cavalry battle, Izuku again utilizes Toroki's ice as well as whatever moisture there is to also gotta create a dome of pure ice. No one can break through it. If anyone can't actually scratch it, it just heals itself. Via more moisture in the air. And Toroki. <laughs> when he knows this is the way Toroki's coming for us. Yeah. He's just giving Yuzuku more ice and water to work with. Realizing that that's not going to work. He actually does think about. Should I flame on? Should I flame off? No. Yes. What should I do here? I'm having a slight internal dilemma. By the end of the day, Izuku's team gets to keep their points. Much to the dismay of May, considering that she didn't really need to use any of her inventions, if at all. So she's a little bit disappointed. But, yeah. Now, when it comes to the one on one fights. Izuku is more disciplined and calm here to a point where he's. I'm not going to fall for that. He's just one trying Shinso. So Shinso does not get his little debut right now. When it comes to Izuku versus Toroki, just as you would expect, whatever Toroki throws at Izuku, he just slices through it. He turns it into water, which, yeah, Toroki can't control, so that makes it even more of a what-the-hell-you-asshole type thing. Because though, yes, Izuku can't generate his own, Toroki is more than willing, as it seems, to provide it himself. So Izuku is actually starting to egg on Toroki to use his fire and ice side. It's a lot easier said than done, all things considered. But this is pretty much like you can't beat me with your ice side. You're going to have to use fire if you even want a sliver of a chance of beating me. <laughs> Are you saying that you're too weak? Yes, I am. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to use his side. What? I'm not going to use this quirk. You're talking about your father. Yes. Hmm. So. It's his quirk, right? Yes. You know how dumb that sounds. What? Yeah, that you're, you're something very dumb right now. If it was your father's quirk... And not yours. Don't you think he would have made you use your fireside by now? Don't get me wrong. Your tactics are very... If I could... If I don't say for myself. Hmm, very, uh... Interesting. But you gotta really think about it. If he... Really wanted to... Get you to use your fire... And as you said, it was his quirk. He will have already made you become a hero and use his fire wherever he damn well pleased. Uh, if anything, yeah. The only way you really have any chance of beating me is if you use your fire and cut back on the... 
You know what? Never mind. Be you, be your little rebel self. I don't care. All the reasons that you're gonna be a terrible hero and never make it to the number one spot. That shall be occupied by me, and you know, then downward until there's no one. Oh yes, I did that shit. However, I cut the Izuku versus Ida. Yeah, sadly, Ida slips on ice and slides out of the ring. So, his pride is hurt. But he also just like, I can't believe I fell for that. Bongo versus Izuku. Izuku wants to be fair. So, like, you know what? I won't interfere with your quirk at all. Are you, are you sure? Yeah. Positive. Very positive. Oh, goodness, this. Not the best place to be. We really think about. Hmm. The sheer destructive power that is Kasuki's quirk. Mixed in with the whole Izuku being able to put out set of fires and pretty much drown whoever's there. So one thing Kasuki made sure that Izuku does not do too much of is sweat. If anything, he needs to make sure he keeps on Izuku to the point where, yes, no droplets of water shall be around you. But then he suddenly stops for some reason. Is like, wait, what's going on here? Hmm? Oh, I'm making food. No, something doesn't feel right. As he looks up, he sees a giant ball of water, <laughs> and he's pretty much thinking, "So not fair. You were buying time." Yes. You knew I would get worked up for fighting you. <sighs> yes. Yes, I did. You bastard. No. I'm just very strategic. As he drops the ball, literally, and his poor, poor Kasky is swept away out of bounds. Yeah. Yeah, you were able to get me to cut out the whole sweating and whatnot, but it's a hot day out. There's a lot of people here. <clears throat> Don't worry. You did good better than some others probably would have done, but very good. I am the proud. Why are you? You know what? It's not worth it. But still, you have to reconsider the possible consequences of. Uh, what? What consequences could that possibly be? I have no effing idea. But one thing's for sure. Consequences are a pain in the ass. Indeed. Indeed they are. Either way, a war ceremony is pretty much how it would be in Canada, except Izuku is in the top spot, while Bongo and Ia are pretty much around the same. Sadly. But alas. The hero killer staying, that still happens. Poor, poor Ida. Okay, I'm over it. He does try to go out to stay, but Izuku's like, no, you're not. As he's just like, I will find him. I will capture him. 
you stay out of it so you don't get caught. Yeah. They get caught. The only thing is, Izuku is still trying to get that party egg and whatnot. Well, of course, someone who longs for our family, someone who eats pretty much beans and other stuff and junk and what have you. But he forces a smile. Not knowing the power of a smile can pretty much have people be clueless to your situation, but it can be very helpful at some times, you could say. Now, let us get to... Hmm. Izuku fighting Stain with Ida. He doesn't want to move. Stain doesn't want to move. They both know each other to a certain extent. It's like, yeah, you... I don't really know how to fight you, fight you, but I am not a losing, losing type of vibes. Now, let's try this one. So many scrambles and memories, so little time. One thing that really sucks is the fact that Summer is help isn't really just helpful. She's more like a pain to deal with but at the end of the day someone s said yes I agree to this and as the other person the only thing <sighs> who knows how many jobs could be threatened or lost just because of some sprinkler system that refused to turn off or flowers are in our way, can we please move them, them not meaning to, but it happens just the same. Now, where should I begin next? What? Taking out the... No. If I think we need more... Mm, more help. He's serious. Yep. And remember the rules. Thank you. The rules. And no one told me this at all. Please don't tell me. Don't make, make me do this. Hmm. It seems as though you are worried about how long you will last. Either through your thoughts or through your. Uh, Hmm, that's strange. I don't understand, but something doesn't feel right. Something in the moisture. Wait, how much does it actually... Oh, no. Then, yes, Izuku must fire. Only thing is, it becomes more of a friendly duel than the actual fight. When it comes to the whole staying business, Izuku freezes state over. Not so much that he dies, but just enough so yeah, I could probably get it if I want to. Now, oh, let me think. What shall have happened next? Upon learning of Izuku's exploits when saving Ida and Native from the hero killer. People just got over it. Yeah. That's, that's all that matters. The, the someone got away with it. Hmm. Sucks. I know. But necessary. When it comes to Izuku... And Bakugo versus All Might. Izuku knows he's no match for All Might's raw power. Bakugo is still somewhat stubborn, of course. So, at the very least, they try to come up with a plan where both can get what they want. All they have to do is capture him, 
preferably unconscious and whatnot, as well as turn you on. What? Uh, I I didn't mean that. Huh? Wait, is that Sue right there? What? Where? Got you. Fuck me. Why are you doing this? Cause I'm trying to make like a tragic situation.